What's with these Republican congressmen and senators who are afraid to meet the people? Look, when the Tea Party came out and everybody started yelling and screaming, it was dealt with, I mean, and look what happened. It turned into a real movement and things happened. Question is, are we going to have a real movement here while these people yelling and screaming? But it's going to make for a stronger movement if our representatives are afraid to meet them. I mean, what are you afraid of? I've never, I mean, it's like crazy. These guys just sit there. You come out, you take the hours it takes. It doesn't matter if these people don't agree with you, congressman. It doesn't matter. You sit there, you listen to it. If it takes two, three hours, it takes two, three hours. Maybe you'll win re-election. Maybe some of those people who are yelling at you will respect you for doing what you did and for listening to them. And the next thing you know, they'll vote for you or maybe not vote against you when, you're, when, when, it, when the next election comes up in 2018 and your opponent is there. You are supposed to be a representative of the people. This is Congress once again. You know, we bang on it, bang on it, bang on it, bang on it. Congress is horrible. It's horrible. These people are afraid of their own constituents. It doesn't matter if they disagree with you or they agree with you. You listen to them. You respond. You try to be respectful. If those people get out of hand, it gets dealt with the way it would anywhere else. But you deal with it and you move forward. Otherwise, you got no backbone, and otherwise, you have no business being a representative, and you should be thrown out because House of Representatives is the people's house. And if the people can't confront their representatives, and their representatives are afraid of the very people that they represent, it makes one wonder what kind of a democracy we have. Is that a democracy when the representative is afraid of the people? <laughs> this is horrible. But it's great, too, because you get to see people in reality, what they are, who they are. They can talk a lot to the media. They can talk a lot to their friends and to their supporters who raise all their money for them. But they got no backbone to talk to the people. Man, I'd love to deal with people who don't agree. It's more fun. You deal with them. You go for it. From there, you get some respect unless they're just totally out of left field, but 99% of the people are cool people. They want to tell you how they feel. You listen to them. They want to put up red sides, green sides. They want to yell. So what? This is America. That's what the First Amendment's about. How can we ever depend on Congress? I have no idea. And it doesn't matter if you're Republican or you're Democrat, because when the Tea Party came out, the Democrats were the same way. How sad is this? This just makes you wonder, doesn't it? It'll all work out. Peace.